Um, charity point well made. Uh, Sam, of course, does a lot of work with Vinnie's. He'd no doubt agree. And, and Holly, we've talked about it before. So uh, recognise what we've said to this point in the show. But let's talk about the important issue, which is what percent of 1% of global emissions we must set the target at mm. for six years from now. Now, when I first saw on Saturday Libs planning to pull out a Paris Agreement, the political nerd in me goes, really? Like, what seat are they going to win mm. in the... T like, this is, this is bad? And then I actually read the interview, and they didn't say it. It had just been sort of whipped up and turned... How outrageous. Yeah, like, let's change the subject, right? But we've now got to the place mm. where Peter Dutton says, well, surprise, surprise, the policy we took to the last election, which is we don't agree with 43%, will be our position after the next election. Mm. Yet the Prime Minister, desperate to change the subject from many months of failure, is trying to pretend that the you know, climate, climate nasties are back inside the Liberal Party. Isn't the reality that Australia's... On this discussion, right, which the mm. lefties call climate wars, which oh, God. wankers, yeah. but um, it's always 50-50, right? Mm. When, if whatever one you choose, eventually the public turns around and says you should have chosen the other path, right? More action equals higher cost, lower cost equals less action. Mm. Well, surprise, surprise, in cost of living, I know which one they're going to pick. Absolutely. Lower cost. Absolutely. And the reality is, and this is where Peter Dutton's leadership is so strong in this area and he's continuing to, to really uh, show himself as the alternate Prime Minister because he's being honest with the Australian people. And I know this might seem outrageous to some people, but the reality is, is we are getting nowhere near the targets and we are chasing an ideology under Bowen and Albanese. Mm. Uh, not only are the renewable projects not on target. And again, these are all going into rural and regional areas. They're not going into the teal seats. Correct. In fact, the teal seats, when they had the opportunity to put a battery in Waverley and North Sydney... Let me guess. They rejected it. Oh! They rejected a battery the size of a storage container, you know, sh shipping container, but they want rural and regional Australians to wear solar farms over arable farming land Correct. as well as having new transmission lines bulldoze through their communities. Uh, but so the transmission lines are way behind schedule, the renewable projects are way behind schedule, and to say no coal, no gas, no nuclear, there's no way we're keeping the lights on. Mm. And what, uh, you know, Peter Dutton is saying is we need an honest approach, we need a real discussion, and we are not going to do anything to our economy that removes productivity and any advantage that we have and to make sure that families can pay their power bill. I mean, that's a novel idea. Correct. But the issue, of course, Sam, is that there are certain people who, as I said, in this religious-like thing, there, there, there is a number that must be achieved and the number should be bigger than any number we've previously had in the past because if Australia doesn't do our bit, then we're climbing... All, all of that, right? Um, but equally, the pushback surely to what Holly's just said is, OK, cool... But none of the coal-fired power stations just magically regrow. They've all been blown up, right? We've made a choice. We've gone on a path. The Dutton position is, well, cool, we can pull back and there's another path over here. But either of these paths are going to be very expensive. That said, we've got the Prime Minister pretending that he's still running against Scott Morrison that he's running against the guy who hasn't signed Net Zero 2050, that isn't going to Glasgow, all of this crap. And I just wish Albo would work out that he's got an opportunity to lead a conversation, but if he wants to just keep fighting the 2022 election, he's going to get a kick in the bum at some time. Sure, but what's Peter Dutton's policy? What's the number? OK, so we're pulling well, 34 out. was their one at the last federal election. But he hasn't said that. But what does it, what does it matter? <laughs> what because, is, but honestly, what does it matter? Sure. If you we're agree on the destination, what's the point of the journey? What does it matter what the number is? Let's be honest with the Australian people. 82% renewables by 2030 are never going to happen and the costs are continuing to increase. What the number is, is, you know, we're still it, committed to net zero in 2050. It matters because of what you said at the very start of this, which was Peter Dutton's honest. Peter Dutton wants to have a credible conversation. Now, that may well be the case, but honesty to me says he's got to go to the Australian people and say, here's my number. plan.
but, but I don't. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Albo had to have a number. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a policy setting that then informs a whole range of different investment decisions all the way down the line. And we so if you lift so the moratorium no, no. So on nuclear, the there'd be a whole lot of investment opportunities. Okay, well, let's, let, but let's talk about let's talk about nuclear. Mm -hmm. Why won't he say, "Here's the policy. Here's where it's going to go. Here's how much it's going to cost." If he were to say, "Yes, here's twenty billion dollars, and we've allocated that in the Ford estimates, Sam, and, and it's going to go in Sam, these two electrics." You're a creature of politics. You don't come out. You know, it's not all on not one an day. election yet. You don't come yeah. out with your suite of policies halfway through a term. Or you and I both know that he is not going to come out this side of the election and say that. And that's, he will. that's what looks disingenuous. Okay, Absolutely, he will. I don't think he's hiding that he's interested but in nuclear. Let, let me in. In answer to part of the question, in his budget and reply speech, he already signalled the locations, which was existing. It's so sites, it's right? Brownfield Existing. Brownfield so, sites. so therefore, if you've had a coal-fired power station, the plan under the lefties is that the power station is replaced with a battery. Under the Liberals, it would be that that would be one of the nuclear power stations. They ain't coming to suburban streets anytime uh, under that plan, right? So that that's the first one. So I feel like we can build up what the location is, whatever. The cost, I would put the same pressure on Peter Dutton that I put on Albo about the cost. But Albo was allowed to lie. Mm -hmm. About five hundred thousand jobs and two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Oh, but that was the modelling based off three years ago, mm. and now we don't have to apply to any of Sorry, those sorry, sorry. It's one thing to give modelling and and for that modelling to become wrong, yeah. right? And to get that number yeah. wrong in a couple of years. So he can make up whatever answer. modelling he wants no, going into the next. Give election. us the modelling, well, and, sure. and and then give the government the chance to pull it apart in the same way that Albanese, when he was opposition leader, yeah. gave Peter Dutton, but or he, sorry, gave Scott Morrison the chance yeah. to do that. But I won't I, look. I, I don't have the forensic mind to know exactly when that announcement came out, but that announcement did not come out too far out from the no, election. Absolutely I remember it was not. pretty late in the cycle at the National absolutely. Press Club. Sure. If somebody can go and find it the, and work the out the date... The six-week campaign right, was right, when but, we heard over 100 sure, times $275. But, but, but by the same power. point... Albanese wasn't proposing to build nuclear power. No, a he was saying huge a policy. trillion dollar. No, he, he, a, sorry, 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 sorry. A, a complete nuclear power the network. station is an enormous yes. investment. Yes. It's a huge turn but you of don't policy. Have to change but the wires. If, 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 you're going to, if you're going to propose that, then it is incumbent on you to say how you are I going to change that. With you. I don't disagree with you. But what I'm saying is, what, what I'm saying is that I think that there is a political class conversation, which is about, yep. which is about targets of international importance and all the rest of it, right? Does that is that a completely irrelevant conversation of which you should never answer the questions? No. But the question that I think is playing out for Australians is the one that was existed in polling in 2022 and many years prior, right? Which was the choice between action versus cost, all right? At this cycle, cost is all well and good if your interest rates are close to zero, mm -hmm. but when your interest rates have gone up 12 times, cost becomes a different issue. So either the Labor government turns around and says, well, OK, we're just going to slow it down to try and hold off the cost, which they won't do. Instead, he thinks he can win the next election by finding an even higher number, and there might be some, some backfight on that. But we got a couple of lines out of both, uh, both of them today, which pretty much seem to be the preview of what they think is the attack going into the next election. Uh, Dutton said that Albo was weak and rattled, mm. and Albo said divisive. Now, whichever one of those ends up getting into your perceptions, if it's weak and rattled, what it means is that every time the government makes an announcement, it looks like they're making it out of desperation, like Queensland, or um, divisive is, well, by opposing everything that we do, then they don't have any plan for the future. Obviously, you can both argue your corners on that, but we're starting to see these hits that are sort of election-level hits at a point in time when we're being told election is next year, but it could be as early as August. What does it say to you that they have... They've honed the hits now so that when people argue at the barbecue, they can mm. say, we can rattle, and then somebody says, divisive, yeah. we can rattle, <laughs> divisive. And then somebody says, can't we all just get along and have a better politics? They're the teals. Tell them to go home. Yeah. They're boring. Oh, God, yeah. Don't but, invite But what does it say to you? As political animals, what does it say to you? Uh, I think... Look, I think we're probably headed to an election at the end of this year is, yeah, is looking think. increasingly more likely. I think that's for a whole raft of reasons, uh, including it doesn't look like we're going to get an interest rate cut this year and we may not get one to the middle of next year. So they're very unlikely to get one before yes. going to the election. So why not go early? I don't think they'll go August because I think they're going to let Queensland get their cricket bats out for the state government before they go federal. Mm. 
uh, because they don't want to bear the brunt of. So that's late Queensland. October. That means November. So but it's November, Trump forget or... first week of December. So I yeah. look, you know, but it's all speculation. We've, we've still got the New South Wales redistribution to come out on Friday. <laughs> yes. So there's still lots and lots of moving pieces here. And, and, that, and those numbers need the, the redistribution needs to be finalised before the election's called okay. for fear that they it take. Goes on the, the old boundaries. Well, well, they take the two seats that are. Um, uh, most under quota, which is uh, Warringah and Wentworth, and they smash them together. Yes. Um, and which That'll is, work across the harbour, Well, it? that's right, because mm. they technically have a, a border, which is the, the definition the AEC uses, mm. but, of course, there's... A, a lot of water a, in between. A lot yeah, of water, water north and south headed to Sydney. <laughs> but, yeah, OK, so this is interesting. Anyway, it's just it's worth watching. And, You're again, one of the joys of this show... You've jet skis or something across the harbour from one side of the electric correct, to the other. Correct, correct. Perhaps they could just use, you know... Um, I won't say that. Oh, God, All can right. you imagine, though, just, sorry, two Please. teals having their seats smashed together? Can we imagine Royale. the Allegra well, Aren't there two teals scout. that want a job share in Melbourne? Maybe oh. they could job share. That, their seat got abolished. Oh. That was Deacon. Damn it. No, that's Higgins. Oh, sorry, Higgins. Yeah. Yes, correct. Right. Oh, yeah. so, they, so they can still keep they going. They can still do it.